What's up everybody? Welcome back to another disc golf video. We are playing the Ballantine Temp course in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, there is a tournament this weekend out here. Uh, this course is here for only a week every year. So I've never played it before, playing it blind. We're currently three down. It is a golf course style course. Um, I'm not the biggest distance guy, especially after taking a long break from content and playing as much as I did. My distance has freaking plummeted, man, <laughs> if I'm honest. So trying to get some of that back. Um, the course is nice. This is a beautiful golf course. Um, so it's been fun so far. Let's get into it. Okay, so hole 10 here is 276 feet and it is a par three. I feel like I wanna just throw my bounty out there or something on a hyzer and try and crash in if I can. So like I'm gonna aim at the tree on the right that should pop up just a little bit and see if we can get right underneath the basket. Just don't flip and you'll be fine. Yeah, that's a putt. Nice. Okay, so I definitely think that that's gonna be the way to go. This bounty's a little more stable, so I'm gonna try and throw the same shot and see what would have happened. Inside of it? No, off the tree. Okay, so the other one actually might be a little better. All right, great stuff. It was raining earlier. My putters are still a little wet. So, honestly, I need to dry these off. Um, great shot here. Great shot coming in around these. Yeah, and then even from this one, we would be able to cash it in. Ow! All right, good, good thing. Starting off with a bird, that's what we like. Okay, so this hole is a par five, 790 feet. Um, I eagled a 840 foot hole with two forehands <clears throat> at my last tournament. Does that mean that I need to do that now? I'll throw it, but I don't know if that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, I think I'm still gonna just grab this vandal and try and smash it. I do not have the arm speed for distance drivers right now. You do not have to throw a distance driver to get distance, even though it has that in its name. All right, we're gonna throw this out flat. I'm gonna try and pop it and uh, give it some good distance. It's not the direction that I want to be going. All right, I want to see what a forehand would have done. I bet you I can smash this forehand past, past that, which is going to be wild. All right, so this is my destiny. I'm going to throw it flat right down the middle. It's going to turn and it's going to push. And let's just see if I can give this some good power. Oh my gosh, Michael. Stable up, stable up, stable up, stable up. Yes. Did it? I think it did. Ugh, that was so wonky. Okay, so the footing on this is interesting to say the least. We're kind of down. So that means it'll be very easy for us to make the mistake of stabling up and going left. So I'm gonna take my stag, I'm gonna throw it flat down the middle. And if it does sail up, it should be fine. There's OB on the right that we really want to avoid though. Yep. And then from there, we should have a fairly easy shot into the basket for the birdie. All right. I'm gonna take the keystone here. Nice and easy. Make sure we get it up there. Like, I, I want to land right next to the basket. <laughs> Got a little bit of rain coming down again now. Yep, it's a little short. Like, I literally want to be touching the basket on that <laughs> with how tall that is. So, I overturned that uh, destiny on that forehand back there and pushed out of bounds. If I had pushed straight and not thrown it, like I went to a landing zone, threw it again, and I could be right here with it, I want to see if that, if we'd gotten that tee shot a little bit better. <sighs> That's short. Man, this basket's gonna be crazy. It looks like it's starting to rain again. All right, good birdie. 
I don't want to have to open my umbrella again. It's so annoying to walk with. All right, hole 12 here is a 526 foot par four with a OB Creek about 370 down there. And that's pushing my limit right now. So I'm gonna take this Vandal, see if I can get it over there. Otherwise, I'm just gonna throw a chip shot to practice that. Does that easily make it? Oh my gosh, dude. I don't even think that that easily makes it. Where did my distance go? All right, so my play literally might be just taking this justice and throwing it out there on a forehand, or probably taking my felon and throwing it out here on a forehand. Yeah, that might be my shot. All right, so I could be wrong, but I think that the, yeah, the OB line is way past the creek. So I feel like that's probably 420 to carry um, to be safe. So this is my play, throwing the forehand right here and then um, probably just taking my stag and throwing my stag at the basket and trying to land that flat and safe. There's a sweet dog running up to me. Don't get my disc. All right. Maybe. Where you going, pup? Watch out, there's a creek there. That might be a putt. Hi. Well, guys, I uh, had to go into the creek to get my escape, so my feet are wet. But from the safe play, we get the birdie. So that's what we do. We throw forehand, backhand, and we're good. I gotta empty my shoes out. I also think I left a putter back there, which is a little frustrating. I think I did. Hole 13, par three, 257. Um, OB, car path and beyond on the right side, area between second. It's also OB. Okay, so we do not wanna go short here. 257 though, we're gonna throw our bounty. I'm just gonna pop it out there on a hyzer. That's too much hyzer, Michael. Please get over. All right, that's over on the grass. That's way too much hyzer. Let's go. Yes, dude. Sick. All right, 315 here. Probably just gonna throw the stag, honestly. Now stable up. Now stable up. Okay, that should be a good putt. All right. Let's see if we can catch this easy birdie right here. Wow, barely, dude. There you go. Extend to the basket. All right, good bird. All right, so good birdie on that last one. This is a 415 foot par three. I think I'm gonna go escape on this here. It's been feeling good. I've been feeling like I've been able to get some pretty good distance with it. So I'm gonna see if I can Throw this flat aiming to the right of the basket and see what type of distance we can get. Maybe we can get it to filter down there. Ah. Uh. All right, escape's over here. Um, I aimed too far to the right. If I had aimed correctly, it probably would have ended up a little in front of the bear over there, so like circle's edge. I'm not gonna give this a full bid. I'm really just laying this up. Because it's a par three and I don't wanna do anything silly. So we'll leave this one with par. I missed my putts from the bear anyway, so that would have been a par also. So par on this, that's okay. I mean, would this used to have been an easy 
a birdie for me, probably, but we've lost some of our distance. All right, so we're eight down right now, which is feeling pretty good. Um, I think the once I started getting used to playing on the, the golf course, I kind of have a little bit of idea how to read. It took me a little bit compared to the front nine. I've got a little bit of a headwind here. I really want to throw my destiny on a forehand here. Because of that headwind, I'll still do it. But it's going to be nice and easy. I'm not going to freak out <laughs> and try and throw a ridiculously far shot. Um, but I am going to throw it flat down the right side. And because of the headwind, it should carry it over to the left. Huge. Let's go. That's a massive shot. That's all I need. All right, so just measured this and it's like 410, 420. Um, so that's pretty sick. Maybe I should be throwing my forehand on some of those longer ones, honestly. Um, I'm gonna pin this and see how far this is. Okay, about 275 uphill. I mean, the stag's been working for me, man. I throw this thing all the way down to like 250 feet sometimes. I know some people are like, why, why, the, why are you throwing a fairway driver? It's like, because it, it works. Like, why would I not? I'm going uphill. I feel confident with the shot shape with it. I can throw it nice and easy. So let's get this there. That's a terrible angle, Michael. That's a really bad angle. So you, can, you guys can see the hillside. It's easy to come out on hyzer whenever you're on a hillside like that. Um, so I should have I should have thrown that flatter than normal. I didn't even throw that flat. I threw that on a hyzer, which is brutal. Um, I'm gonna try and throw the bounty now and just see see what that maybe could have done for us. Yeah, so that's the flight that I was expecting the stag to get. All right, so even the bounty came up short. It's right there. It is a little bit better, but the stag shot isn't bad. Um, and the putts started feeling a little more on as the round has continued. So see if we can cash this. I need to extend my arm so much more. All right, so that kind of sucks. Because um, that was a monster of a drive. But even this was still back here. The stag was definitely the play. I feel like, I feel like that was further than I pinned it at. I could have been pinning like the hill or something. Like the bottom of it, I don't know. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do on this hole, it's very interesting. You can throw it dead straight, but that ceiling's pretty low. So I think I'm gonna throw my felon out to the right or to the left, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna throw my felon out here and see if we can get it to skip towards the basket. I might, I might throw a, a backhand as well just to see, but I feel like this would probably be, probably be my play. Oh, but that would be really bad if that happened. We've got a putt. I feel like the play um, for the backhand would be like a, a low stable Annie skip shot that might get up to the basket. So I'm actually gonna throw my prototype of Vader that I throw on hole three at uh, Scrapyard. So I'm gonna throw this on Annie. We'll see if we can get a reverse skip like towards the basket. Oh my gosh, Michael. That was really bad. That was no Annie. But good little Annie skip. That, uh, that might not be bad if I can put some Annie on it. All right, so both of these were fine. Um, the forehand 
I didn't even need to cut that close. Like, if I end up up to the left of the basket, that's not bad at all. So, we'll have to see. We'll see what we're feeling on, on tournament day. <sighs> Extend, dude. Okay? You know how to putt. Come on. Thank you. All right, good bird. All right, so final hole. They give us uh, they give us what should be a fairly easy one. Par three, 250 feet. Shouldn't be bad. I'm gonna take my mate in here and toss it on down there. See if we can get it in a good spot. A little bit of a tailwind, which will stable it up some. So I'm gonna, uh, typically I'll throw this flat anyways. So, see if we can get this close. Michael, stable it up wind. Okay, good. Wait, I didn't even check to see if there's OB behind the basket, but I think that's right there. All right, six stuff for us there. I released it a little bit to the right, but I mean, it wasn't a big deal, obviously. Nice, I don't know where we're at, but I think we might have finished at 10, which means I got seven birdies on the back nine. Is that real? Did I actually do that? I might be wrong. All right, so yeah, finished at 10 down. Um, that was with taking the forehand on that one hole that I literally had no idea that it was actually like 440 to carry <laughs> all the way down. So if we did that, obviously that would have been a par instead of a birdie or whatever it would have been. Um, so still eight, 10, whatever, whatever it was. I'm happy with it. This is a cool course. seems super scorable, like legit. I need to, I need to just be dialed when I'm out here. Cause I know that if anybody's feeling good and hot, they're gonna pop off. So we need to make sure we can do the same thing. Tournament's on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, see how we shoot. Appreciate your support.